Hello everyone, Ortail here, and welcome one and all to a brand new episode of a zombie burning to death over there. And we are back with some more Minecraft nighttime <laughs> with hardcore. Yeah, hardcore, woo! All right, previously we went to the north to gather some resources and whatnot. And then we came back through another portal that we found in a village, which is incredibly insane that there's actually nether portals that you can just find in the overworld now. That's awesome. And it popped us back over to here, and now we are here. And in today's episode, once we wake up, we are going to be setting up our very first house. I haven't done any building, so this is going to be a build episode. Woohoo! <laughs> that does sound like uh, Animal Crossing a little bit. Now, first up, uh, if I can real quick. I need to gather some hay so that way I can breed these cows. Cows need to be bred constantly because they're always moosing about being very hungry. So here we go. And hopefully that's everyone. I think so. Is that everyone? Oh, there we go. Someone else? Maybe? There we go. Oh, you know, let's go to bed and we're gonna start some building. Ah, yes, the great outdoors, the great mince raft. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and build in this area that I cleared out. There used to be a bunch of grass and flowers. Well, now it's gonna be the foundation to my new home. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make it pretty much parallel to this wall here. So we back up a little bit and I'd say right about here should be the start of the build. So we'll go ahead with that. I think I'm gonna use this golden block to mark my home. Yeah, let's be a little bit fancy. There we go, a gold block to start it all off. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna start to build. We're gonna do one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, and then four. And from there, these are going to be our columns that go on up like so. And these are pretty much going to be on the edge here. And then we need to actually make some a stone fencing for this too, but uh, actually, wait a second, I forgot, if I can find where it is, I'll probably bring it on over here to make this a little bit easier. I should have a stone cutter somewhere. Not sure where it was, though. Correction, I do not actually have a stone cutter, so I'm gonna have to come over here and do it the old-fashioned way. And all we gotta do for that is just come in here, click on this a few times. Maybe not... Actually, that should be about right, I do believe. So we're going to place that into our inventory and we're going to line these up on the sides here. Uh, in a little bit though, because I would like to go ahead and start working on the bottom portion here. So we're going to do real quick, if I do this too, we'll go ahead and have some dark oak wood. So we're going to do one, two, one, two, and then right here is going to be the oak wood right there and there. And up on the walls themselves is going to be dark oak planks maybe? Mm. Actually, let me real quickly to make a, another crafting table right by me, so that way I don't have to go too far away. So we're going to place the crafting table here, and aha, I got an idea. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to do something like this, where we go ahead and place this up like so, and this right here, and right, oops, uh, we're going to go ahead and remedy that. And this is going to be like so, we place this one on the opposite side, and then we're going to have right here, I can go ahead and select this, we're going to push these up just a bit like so, and then down here we're going to add this in on up here, oops, my bad, remedy this again, this doesn't seem to be liking me right now, place this here, and now we got this right up here. I think right on top I might do some sort of like window. Yeah, I think a window would be good and then this will go in the middle up here. Yeah, I think that'll work. And we can go ahead and line this up with the walls right there and there. And voila! Now what I'm gonna do here then is I'm gonna go ahead and side and we're gonna go ahead dig this up and we'll have ourselves the enchantment room now essentially this is gonna be like my small base it's not gonna be like an extraordinary base or anything like that it's just gonna be like maybe a three-story tower where I'll have the enchantment table down here second floor will be my storage facility and then the third room will be where my bed is 
So now the idea of this is this is where we're going to go ahead and place down our enchantment table, which we're going to make right now. And voila, we've made ourselves our first enchantment table. And we're going to actually place it directly into the middle here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll put this here and then this will go right here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to actually surround this with all of these different staircases. Like so, and then what we're gonna do here is, whoop! Hello, dude! What's up? Hey! You're scary right now because I'm out in the middle of the open, so please don't attack me. And then we're gonna go ahead and line up the rest of the floor. I also would like to add some water to this, so let me go ahead and get some dark oak, or the regular oak planks out here. And we're going to do a little bit of a checkerboard pattern around this. And from there, we'll add in the dark oak planks to give it a little bit of texture to it. Please don't bother me, Mr. Enderman, because you are very, very, very scary. Fortunately, I just ran out of that, so let's just go ahead and use those. And dark oak planks for the rest of the floor. Give it a nice little bit of texture variance. There we are. Now all I need to do is add some water here, and we're going to go ahead and put water all the way around it. So then that way, if ever we need any sources of water, we can just go right into our house. And there we are, that should be infinite sourced. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Looking nice. And now for the next piece of the puzzle. Sleep is going to be in order here shortly, so we got to hurry this up. So let's go ahead, place down a bookcase right here. And one right there, and one right there for now. And then we'll make ourselves one more right there. And we'll go to bed, and we'll come back to the project. So I've gone ahead and made myself a couple more bookshelves. So we can place one right there, one right there, one there, and one here. And I think that should take us up to about 16, 17 on the level one chance. Uh, yes, yeah, 16 there. We got a 16 there, and a 16 there. So we're not quite there yet. Of course, we don't have enough books at the moment to go ahead and just place this here. I do have some sugarcane grown over there, but it's just going to take a while for that to finish up. But I think for now, this is good. And I know it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze. But again, this isn't going to be like my permanent base or anything like that. And I could potentially extend this side out, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. And besides, we're gonna go ahead and go from there anyway. So here we are, right there, and then we can go ahead and maybe make this an area that extends out. So right there, and over here would be the next area to extend out. And we'll go ahead and do the, something like that. And one, two, and then we need to go ahead and place some cobblestone here. One, two, three for now. And on the other side, do the same. So I'm going to have some windows right here. So we'll go ahead and place these like so instead of as stairs. There we are. And for here, we're going to have a little bit of flooring right there and on the other side as well. What I would eventually like to do is I'd actually like to have uh, some honey elevators right here and right over there, but for now they're just going to be little ladder areas. So we need to go ahead and empty out this flooring bit right here and there as well. So I also decided to extend this back area here, and what this back area is going to be is it's going to be an extended area where I can come on up and I can look out a little bay window from the rear here. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that here in a moment. But first, let's go ahead and finish up the flooring. I think for now we're just going to use base planks like so so that way we can just differentiate which room is which and I'm going to be pretty much remodeling these at some point anyway so long as I survive anyway right here honestly I could probably put back in the dirt back here and then what we'll do is we're going to I think for now I'll just go ahead and with the oak planks I actually need a few more so we'll go ahead and add in the rest of these like so and then we'll we'll have back here we actually need a few more of these planks so that way we can finish this back area there we go oak slabs and hopefully this will be enough so we just uh, add all of this right here 
And we just need to place in the rest of the oak planks. I think this should be enough. It's only seven across. There we are. So now what we're going to do with the bay area here is we're also going to place some of this right here. And over on this side right here. And pretty much with the same artistic pattern. Just place these all around. Get some more of these dark oak logs into our inventory. And hopefully we'll have enough to work with this next floor. So, unfortunately, I think I am a little bit out of wood, so I just need to get a little bit more into my inventory and we can continue working on this. Oh, whoa, oh no, oh boy. Okay, that's bad, that's very, very bad. Wow, yikes. I do not want to come across that, not right now. That's a little bit on the scary side. Ooh, that gave me a heart attack. I was gonna go out that way so I could, uh, do some planting of the trees, which I actually don't have any saplings on hand. So let me grab some anyway, jeepers. Yeah, that was pretty scary. All right, I think I have myself enough oak planks just for this first floor. So we're gonna go ahead and do up these walls here. So on this one here, we're going to give this a little bit of some depth to it. So there we go. And then these ones, same thing. We just go ahead and place the walls in like that. Actually use up some of the dark oak logs that we have left right here. This will act as like a frame for our window. And then here is going to be this one. And then this side here, it's more of the depth. So give it some depth on this side here. Also, okay, so I think over here I also had some depth, right? Yes, so I need to remedy this real quick and we'll work on the rest of the walling. All right, this is actually looking pretty neat. Now all I need is some glass in here, but that's not gonna happen for a little while and I do need to add myself some ladders so that way we can get to a second floor if we so choose to. And in order to make ladders, all we need are some sticks and Three ladders. Uh, I think maybe I should make just one more ladder, so I need to make a couple more sticks here. So hopefully this will be enough for now. So it's going to be boom, 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 and then we'll place one more up there, so then that way we can get onto the second floor. As far as the between levels, what I'll be going ahead and doing here is I'm going to just be raising this up by one on each of these, and between these will be more dark oak logs. However, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of some artistic licensing with these, and I'm going to do something like this to represent that this is not the base level, but indeed this is actually representing a new level to the tower. Now, I probably don't actually have enough dark oak logs for this, so I'm probably going to have to go ahead and get some more, but that's okay. So we're going to go across through here. And actually, instead right here, I'm going to be using some cobblestone. Just to differentiate that this is the front of the build. Plus, this way it doesn't intercept with this top piece of the door. Unfortunately, it looks like my axe is about to break, so I'm gonna have to make a new one. That's alright. I think for up here, I'm going to use cobblestone slabs, maybe? Or, perhaps, what I could do instead... I think I'm going to use stone slabs, chiseled stone slabs, or smooth stone slabs, that's what it's called. So I'm going to go ahead, make some of those as well, and then we shall finish the first floor. So now that we have ourselves some of these slabs, I'm going to go ahead and start lining these up on the ceiling. Or I could just go up to the next floor and make it so it's my flooring, and then we will be good with this entire first floor. Of course, the only things that we will be missing is obviously glass, and we're also going to be missing a few decorations, but that can come at a later time. For now, for the most part, I would just like to have this enchantment room table area, and I think this is going to be pretty good. And right here is going to be a stone block, because underneath is going to be where we place ourselves a lantern, so that way there is some lighting here in this general vicinity. And honestly, I might need to add a little bit more lighting here and there. Let's see here. I think it'll be too dark in the corners there, especially since I plan to put bookcases right here as well. So maybe what we could do, in fact, maybe up here, 
singular smooth stone block here, and then a lantern here, and then another one on this side. So in this way, it's kind of like over the doorway area here, going into the next area. Because what I would like to do is I would actually like to raise the bookshelves all the way up towards the ceiling. Not quite to the ceiling, so that way there's a bit of a gap from the top. Besides, that'll happen anyway since these are slabs. Speaking of slabs, let's go ahead. We're going to go through here and do the same thing. And then all the way around like so. And we're going to place these right through here. Pretty much just continue this until we've got ourselves a full floor up here. Uh, maybe right here? Yeah, we'll put one more lantern right here. There we go. These do kind of hang a little low, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Uh, maybe, maybe not right here. Actually, yeah, that's perfect. That's fine. Yeah. So let's go ahead and finish getting this wrapped all the way around, and we should have just enough, I hope. Yes, perfect. We did have just enough. And I think because this light is actually pretty close to the same elevation, I think these corners should be good. I mean, I will know once there are zombies and stuff trying to intrude in here. I do need to make some glass at some point, but I think for the most part, our enchantment table is ready and set up. I just need to go ahead, add some bookshelves, and this entire first floor of the tower is pretty much done. I just need to add a few things, of course, here and there, and it'll be truly good. Anyway, though, I think that's going to just about do it for today's episode, since we pretty much got the enchantment table all set up and ready to go. We just need to get a few more bookshelves into here, and then it will be fully finished and fully fleshed out. For the most part, between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and work on the second level and just add some chests up here, so then that way I can add some items to the chest and so on and so forth. My inventory and as well as the other chests around here kind of looking a little clustered, to be honest. And I need to really sort my items right now, since we are going to be heading to the nether eventually here soon. But I think for today, that's going to just about do it. Next episode, we're going to finally enchant. I'm going to get myself them diamonds down below, hopefully, because I would like to get a Fortune 3 pickaxe so I can mine as many Minecraft diamonds as I possibly can. But uh, that's kind of weird shadow works right there. Look at that. The shadow seems to only appear on the full blocks and not the slabs. That's rather weird, to be honest. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you so very much for coming on by today. I hope everyone out there is doing well. Until the next one, do be sure to hit that like button down below. Consider subscribing if you want to see more. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Take care and have fun.